Hey, what's up, everyone? Same time gaming here. Welcome back from the Division 2 weekly vendor reset. Well, guys, the vendor just got reset, so let's just get rid of this vendor real quick. Uh, so, we got this named item here, which is the cookbook, uh, perfectly wicked backpack 129,319 armor, 7.6 explosive resistance, 10.2 skill haste, a tactical vector here with killer, 12.2% uh, swap speed, 14.5% crit chance, and 10.6% uh, SMG damage. Uh, then we have this G36 enhanced assault rifle with maxed out damage to armor, a future perfect talent and the rest of them are pretty bad to be honest and uh, then we have this disurious pistol which is 10.4 percent pistol damage 18 percent uh optimal range and strained is the talent uh shashka backpack uh, with 10.3 percent of weapon damage 10.1 percent of crit damage 7.3 skill damage and companion is the talent uh gilagot chest piece with 168,170 armor 6.2 percent hazard protection 10.4 percent of skill haste focus is the talent a defensive protocol critical mod which is 7.4 percent headshot damage a drone mod which is 8.3 health as uh turret mod which is uh 6.1 skill haste and a sticky launcher mod which is five percent of blast radius that's it for the white house vendor all right guys we're here at the clans vendor so the named item we have here is a contractor gloves okay but it's not that great though yeah 9.3 percent weapon damage that's too low i mean of course it's always have the eight percent damage to armor and we have 16,020 health uh would be nice to have like maxed out uh weapon damage or even like creep damage maxed out here or something like that but it's uh it's it's not that good to be honest now it's not but if you don't have one you should definitely buy this definitely uh, next we have the hardware chest piece the skill tier 10.4 uh, percent skill haste a rigor mask with plus one skill tier eight percent skill damage a hardware skill uh, with plus one skill tier a knee pad sorry hardware knee pads with skill tier 8.1 percent of headshot damage a covered srs marksman rifle uh, with 11.3 percent marksman rifle damage 94 percent headshot damage eight percent of damage to target out of cover first blood is the talent a first apf 45 pistol which 10.2 percent of pistol damage 13.8 percent swap speed i this is the talent a petrov knee pads uh, which is uh, 13.3 percent of weapon damage 8.9 percent explosive resistance 3812 armor regen a badget of gloves with max sword armor here where, which is really nice and six percent of weapon handling with 15580 uh, is the health a tactical sasg 12 shotgun uh, with 10.5 percent shotgun damage eight percent damage to armor 10.8 percent accuracy and optimist is the talent a gilogord knee pad with 135,219 armor uh, 8.4 percent of skill damage seven percent of weapon handling um Walker Harris holster with 11.1% of weapon damage, 8.2 explosive resistance, 7.4 skill damage, a defensive protocol resilience mod, which is 12% of protection from elite. Nice. You should definitely pick them up. Um, I mean, yeah, it's it's always nice to have. Actually, I am using a protection from elites uh like build right now, which uh, I think I do need one of the protection from elite mods. Cause yeah, I mean, I think so. I'm pretty sure I gotta buy, I'm gonna buy two of them because uh, I'm always kind of like less of this mods. I'm always looking for them. Uh, so yeah and uh, next we have the um hive mod which is four percent of range and, and then we have a chem launcher mod which is 4.4 percent of damage and last we have a hive mod again which is 4.5 percent of damage so that's it for the um clan vendor all right guys we here at the theater settlement so the name item we have here is the mob shotgun uh which has 10.8 uh, percent of shotgun damage nine percent damage to armor and of course that 10 percent armor on kill with reformation talent uh, it's a pretty decent one i would say if you don't own one you can definitely pick this one up and uh, maybe change the talent and uh, then we have the SESG 12 shotgun with 12.8% shotgun damage, 7% of damage to armor, 9% of crit damage and future perfect talent. The Sokom M1A uh, rifle with 11% rifle damage, 13% crit damage, 9.1% stability and ignited is the talent. Um, then we have a China Light gloves with skill tier, 7% of headshot damage, 6% of weapon handling. An Overlord ornaments knee pads with 7.6% of weapon damage, 4,138 armor regen, 11.5% of crit damage. A defensive system mending mod, which is 11% protection from elite now. I already got a better one there, uh, the clan's vendor. Uh, then we have a Seeker Mind mod, which is 4.8% uh, of skill haste, a Shield mod, which is 4.3% of holster regeneration, a Firefly mod, which is 5.7% of damage, a Seeker, um, no, not, not Seeker Mind, Hive mod, no, no, Decoy, yeah, Decoy. I get, forget these, uh, these, these skills, 6% uh, of duration. So yeah, that's it for the theater. All right, guys, we're here at the campus settlement. So the named item we have is the darkness, just like the vendors, with 10.4% of marksman rifle damage, 96% uh, of headshot damage, 6% of health damage, and perfect eyeless is the talent. Uh, the hunting M44 marksman rifle with 11.2% marksman rifle damage, 90, 89, it doesn't really matter, it's low anyway, 8.5% uh, of magazine size and bread basket is the talent. A military LAD6 LSW LMG with 9.7% of LMG damage, 8% of damage to target out of cover, 9% of 
of uh, headshot damage and in sync is the talent. A circle of mask with max dot weapon handling and 10.2% uh, weapon damage with 4.9% of explosive resistance. A group of Sombra holster with 11.3% weapon damage, 4.6% of crit chance and 7.5% of explosive resistance. A decent one. Um, if you don't have a group of piece, if you're new to the game, you should definitely pick them up, uh, this one, and then change the explosive resistance to, like, crit damage. Uh, it's it's actually decent. It's not that, uh, like, the worst item you can see. It's it's actually decent. And then we have the utility system mod, which is 10.1% of skill haste. Uh, chem launcher mod, which is 4.1% of damage. Uh, hive mod, which is 4.3% of duration. A pulse mod, which is 6.3% of cone size. Uh, and finally, we have a trap charge mod, which is 6% of duration. So that's it for the campus. All right, guys, we're here at the Dark Zone East vendor. So we have a Night Watcher. Again, I don't support these in the, the, the Dark Zone vendors. I, I would definitely want to see only Dark Zone exclusives in Dark Zone vendor. I don't know why it's not even a thing. So yeah, it's just it's just bad. Uh, next we have the custom M44 marksman rifle with 9.9% of marksman rifle damage, 91% of headshot damage, 8.5 magazine size, and eyeless is the talent. A black market RPK LMG with 13.7% LMG damage, 11% damage to target out of cover, 5% of crit damage, and ignited is the talent. It's a decent one if you want ignited in, uh, as a talent and you can change the crit damage to like damage to armor. It's a decent LMG. I mean, a decent talent, but it's a really good LMG. And then we have the tip of the spear mask with 11% of weapon damage, 6% of weapon handling, uh, aces and aids holster with 10.2% uh, of weapon damage, 10.8% of uh, skill haste, a golden gear mask with 122,404 armor, 7.6% of headshot uh, hazard protection, uh, 17,484 health. I actually just woke up, so I'm just seeing all these numbers weird. Uh, then we have this golden gear holster with 152,636 armor, 15% uh, of repair skill, 6.3% explosive resistance, a utility protocol mod, which is 8.2% skill duration, a chem launcher mod, which is plus one ammo, uh, hive mod, which is plus four repair charges, pulse mod, which is 14.3 health, uh, trap mod, which is 4.3% of duration. So that's it for DZ East. All right, guys, we're here in DZ South. So the name that we have is Dark Winter. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Um, I gotta buy this. I don't own a Dark Winter. Okay. Uh, yeah, this, I mean, stats are not that perfect, but uh, it's high enough. It's high enough. I can optimize this. I know I have to spend a lot of resources to optimize these. But yeah, I, I would definitely recommend a bias. You can, the good thing is you can change the stability uh, to like damage to armor or damage to target out of cover. You should definitely, definitely 100% pick this one up, okay? If you don't own a Dark Winter, you should definitely buy this. I'm, I will definitely do it. I gotta do that level 30 Dark Zone method to get some resources. I don't have it though. Yeah. So, okay. Next we have the P90 uh, SMG with 10.7% of SMG damage, 14.5% crit chance, 7.9% uh, accuracy. Killer is the talent. A G36 enhanced uh, assault rifle with 9 9.9% .9 soul rifle damage, 19.5% uh, health damage, 11.7% swap speed and reformation is the talent. A D50 pistol, which is 9.6% of pistol damage, 8.6% of reload speed, uh, fast stand is the talent. A hardwire backpack with skill T, of course, and six nice skill damage. Uh, we have this uh, true, uh, true Patriot chest piece with 120,208 armor, 7.2% of skill damage, a Murakami industry knee, uh, no, not, not knee pad, it's a backpack, yeah, it's a backpack. Looks like a knee pad though, like, doesn't it look like a kneecap here? Alright, never mind. Uh, skill tier with 7.9% of status effects, 7.4% of skill damage, and combined arms is the talent. A Douglas and Harding chest piece with 11.2% weapon damage, is 5% of weapon handling, uh, 15,972 health with braced talent. Uh, then we have a uh, offensive system mod which is 10.2 percent critical hit damage uh drone mod which is plus two extra bombs um what is it turret yeah 5.9 duration a chem launcher no sticky bomb sticky bomb yeah 6.5 percent of damage so that's it for dz south all right guys we're here at the final vendor which is dark zone west so the named item we have is oh dead grips which is nice uh, i mean it's not that high with the stats but it's there so that's what i'm talking about you know you need dark zone exclusives only in the dark zone vendors so definitely pick this one up i recently made like armor on kill build and also like an armor on kill and region type of hybrid kind of build and you guys uh wanted the dead grips you don't own one so it's here definitely pick it up okay and next we have the splash tool shotgun with uh 15 shotgun damage and that's pretty much it what it is uh we have reformation talent 1886 
Critics uh, rifle with maxed out crit chance and ignited talent. A future initiative gloves with skill tier 10.2 uh, skill haste. A tip of the spear knee pads with 8.6% uh, weapon damage, 6.5 weapon handling. A Hanayu gloves with plus one skill tier, 8.2 status effect, and uh, nice headshot damage here. With Murakami in, uh, industry knee pads with plus one skill tier, 16.2% repair skill, 8.2 headshot damage. A defensive protocol resilience mod, which is 8.2% blind death resistance. Um, a secret mind mod, which is 6.5% health. Uh, shield mod, which is 4.1% of deflect damage. A fire. Uh, Firefly mod, which is 6% of damage, a decoy mod, which is 6% of health. So yeah, that's it for the Darks and West. Let's go to New York. All right, guys, we're here at Haven Settlement at New York. So uh, we let's see what Roy Benitez has. Uh, so the first, we have the enhanced PP19 uh, SMG with 10.1% uh, of SMG damage, 14% of crit chance, 9% of headshot damage, and in sync is the talent. A surplus SVD maximum rifle with 10.4% maximum rifle damage, 87% headshot damage, 6.5% crit chance, strained is the talent. The ACR uh, SS uh, rifle with 9.8% rifle damage, 13% crit damage, 6.5% crit chance, and preservation talent. Uh, X45 tactical pistol with 12% of pistol damage, 6.5% crit chance, and strained is the talent. An Empress International backpack with skill tier, 9% skill haste, 8.9 headshot damage and versatile talent. A Murakami, Murakami Industry gloves with skill tier, 6.5% weapon handling, 4.4% of crit chance. A Wyvern Ray holster with skill tier, 8.2 hazard protection, 5.5% weapon handling. A utility system mod, which is 10.1% of uh, skill haste. A defensive protocol resilience mod, which is 8.4 disrupt resistance. Um, a drone mod, which is 6.2% uh, deflect duration. A chem launcher mod, which is 6.1% of radius. Um, and sticky launcher mod, which is 6.3% 6 of damage. So that's it for Roy Benitez. All right, guys, we're here at the final vendor. So uh, first item we have is the MK-16 assault rifle uh, with 13.4% assault rifle damage, 18.5% health damage, 5% of crit damage, and ignited is the talent. The SR-1 maximum rifle with 11.3% maximum rifle damage, 85% headshot damage, 12.6 swap speed, and naked is the talent. The LVAC rifle with 10.6% rifle damage, 12% of crit damage, 17.5% optimal range, and close in personal is the talent. The military uh, M9 pistol with 10.7% uh, pistol damage, 8% magazine size, and vindictive is the talent. The badge Tough backpack with 144,597 armor, 17,192 uh, health, 8% of, no, 9% of crit damage and tech, uh, tech support is the talent. A golden gear gloves with 127,005 armor, 7.5% of skill damage, 8.2% of status effect. A sheshka mask with 9.7% of weapon damage, 15.2% repair skills, 8.3% of explosive resistance. A utility system mod, which is 8.4% of skill duration. A defensive protocol resilience mod, which is 8.5% disorient resistance. A shield mod, which is 4.1% of deflect the damage um firefly mod which is plus one max target trap charge mod which is 5.9 percent of shock radius so yeah guys that's it for the weekly vendor reset i'm actually speeding up a little bit because i think uh it's almost time for the you know maintenance i'm not sure though because i'm not seeing any like a maintenance kind of schedule or anything but i just sped up my video a little bit so i just don't want to get into the uh, maintenance while making the video so that's basically what i did but yeah there are some decent items on sale with the vendors i mean only the dark zone vendor you know the dark winter and the dead griefs definitely pick them up I would recommend you guys to pick them up or always so yeah that's pretty much it for the video and i'll see you guys in the next one till then peace